Brain 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 uh, he's really, really good at that mid range. He has a, an amazing mid range counter lift, leaf blade. Mm -hmm. He has amazing leaf setups around mid range. He has, he has an amazing air grab, projectile. Yeah, or he has not a, air grab, but it's like kind of yeah, like Charizard. Jumps right? out of the air, yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> leaf Storm. Thing. Leaf, yeah, Leaf Storm. That's yeah, what it's leaf called. Yeah, the name escaped me for a while. You, you got, hey, Synergy. There we go. Speaking of Synergy, we're going to get right into the first match. Hopefully, build some Synergy. Oh. Because uh, Mega Charizard, that Synergy mode, that ridiculous. <laughs> Synergy burst that he uses can be used in the air. It's just it's really, really good. Really good. But like so septile too, man. Those oh gra yeah. grab damage for any burst character is ridiculous. Yes, it is. So we're gonna get right into the first match. He's too fun though. I thought something really cool was gonna happen right in the beginning. Yeah. But but uh, yeah. we'll just counter for counter. Okay, putting yeah. the traps down just like we were saying earlier. Yeah, he, li he likes this mid range just like that. Oh. So he sets up traps. Sort of like keeping you out, and then once you get close enough, you can just use that leaf blade and essentially just get you back out into a position where you'll fall into his traps. Oh, good block. Getting that critical grab. Yeah, notice, knowing that that yeah, counter was coming. It's one of those one of those 50 50s where you know that your, your, your opponent is on a defensive and they're just going to use some ability to get out of the situation. So he used a panic counter, just was aware of it, and got the grab. Oh, but it doesn't matter. He could just do two hits and get all of that damage right back. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, there's, there's Leap Storm. Yep, just like that. Now Royal Flush is in the red. And one more mix-up just like that will be the first round. He held that counter. He held it tight. Close. Held it just like Royal Flush is holding that L right now. <laughs> As the game said, round two, we're going to get right into it. And right now, some person is doing an amazing job of not letting Charizard find any opportunities. Yeah, keeping him right at that range where he can't really do too much damage. Yeah, and I feel like in this matchup, uh, Sceptile has a, a fairly decent neutral game. I mean, sorry, yeah, very decent, uh, I meant <laughs> neutral game, uh, field pace. Like, the way he can manipulate his projectiles and his leaps, and his, uh, his abort yeah. seeds and everything, it's it's just, it, it does a really good job of keeping Charizard away, because he has a lot of pretty decent anti-airs, and he has a really good, like, essentially get off me option with that leaf blade. But Royal Flesh found the entry and reset the field phase, which I kind of disagree with. Yeah, you just want to keep uh, Sceptile right right next to you. Oh, see? And then th that trap set up, get him in. Yeah, just like that. This, this is one of those matchups where, like, Sceptile is not bad, like, super up close. He has a lot of tools that he can use to, like, get out of, uh, out of like, really close combat situations. Like, he has Teleslash. Um, yeah, Teleslash. But you definitely to need to get in his face. Oh, misses that oh. grab. Yeah. Um, Must have still been in blocks. Though, like. Yeah, Magimu is... Uh, Holding that Miss Maggie, Miss Maggie Moo. Miss Maggie, Maggie Moo's an ice cream sub, so I call her Miss <laughs> Maggie Moo. But uh, Miss Maggie is kept him in the hit the shield so he can grab. But some person is doing a fantastic job right now, just keeping Royal Flush out. I think that's gonna be it. Five seconds on the clock. Yeah, not much he could do. Probably burst. No, even if he hits him with a burst, no matter what, he yeah. doesn't have enough damage. So he's just gonna throw it out. Hopefully, yeah, there's the shield. Yeah. Not gonna prolong the game any longer than it has to. Some person. Looking strong, taking that first match. Yeah, with a fairly convincing round one. Or game one, I least should say. Oh. You're saying support switch or Pokemon switch? Okay, just support switch. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, they're going to opt for... What are they doing? Ah, Interesting. Quagsire and Magneton. I mean, I don't see a lot of Magnetons used, so I... I I'm going to imagine that he's going for the, the Quagsire, Quagsire setup, where you just, like, keep him on the ground. Yeah. That's so a, I like that. Uh, Goken uses that a lot, actually. Or is it not Goken? Um, no, Goken uses Tronzilla. Rotom a lot. Tronzilla. Tronzilla uses uh, Quagsire a lot. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's very true. So right into the match, we actually have a support switch from uh, some person as well. Actually, I don't think we did. I don't even know who we had. I don't think he used his support last game. Not once, nope. He was doing too much work himself. I don't and need support. Like, yeah, I don't need a support. I am the main Pokemon. <laughs> I'm the man out on the battlefield. My trainer wants me to be here. You're just, you're a side, <laughs> a side po, Kimon. <laughs> a side po. But wow, very smart usage of a, of a mid-range attack there, avoiding that counter and just... Get it a hit in. Oh, wow. that Tomahawk just yeah, jump in dude. there and grab. Whoop. Looking like looking like Smash 4, <laughs> Tomahawk grabs. And some person loves to do this. He'll set out that uh, that projectile that like shoots the red bullets. Mm -hmm. And then he just essentially runs around and sets up traps. 
it, it makes it essentially so that they can't really jump because if they're in the air, they'll get hit by the projectile. And if they land, they'll probably land in one of the traps. So it's, it's a really good way of setting up the opponent for like an anti-air option. And it feels like you got to stay and block. What do I do? Yeah, and just oh. like that, see, he set up the traps once again and cover the air option with the grab. Yeah, force his opponent to jump. Oh, wow. He is doing a really good. Oh, yeah, and, and that's going to be it for the first round. Some person Woo! taking another convincing game. Round. The reads. Man, yeah. This man is just, he, he's putting his opponent exactly the position he wants them to be. Yeah, this is exactly what you need to do as Septile. He's doing this, he's using this character's kit very, very well right now. I love watching Septile. It's so cool. Yeah, he's, okay, here's the Quagsire. Let's see what he'll use with it. Oh, he counters oh, he the support. It. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, using that disrupt. <laughs> I don't care about your quack side. He's like, nah, nah, fam. Ooh. Yeah, that counter gonna give him a little bit of a combo here. Probably at the. Uh oh. Yep. Right into the leaf blade. Wasn't a whole lot of damage, but it was a. Uh... It was flashy. <laughs> yeah, it was real flashy. <laughs> if, if and all it was was extending damage after a counter. So. Oh wow! See, completely stuffed the approach with just that projectile. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we good. Oh. Yeah, this is where some person really needs to be careful. It's about halfway through the game, and Charizard's... Never mind. You can talk about nice how he had synergy. Too late. Nice tail slash combo. Yeah. Oh, oh, and to a grab. He actually reset that. That mix so that up. full damage. That was complete, unscaled grab. He just knew that he was going to go for a defensive option, like a shield. And he just reset the, uh, the stale, and then he went in with a grab. Very smart stuff by some person. Yeah, once again, it's going to completely stuff. Quagsire. And... Doesn't get a follow up off of it, but still, this could look yep. good for Royal Flush. Yeah, this might actually be the end. Yes, that is Royal Ooh. Flush. You get one mix up, you take the round. That's Charizard. Charizard. Very smart, very good stuff to uh, Royal Flush, bringing it back, staying, staying patient. He hasn't really mixed up his playstyle very much, but he's just playing. He's just been consistently very patient. So he needs to find some sort of option, and there it is. Punishing Actually battle. got the critical hit. Oh. Look at that damage. Half. It's going to like 380. Ooh. Oh my god. Left. Wow. I thought I was going to scale way more than that, but right now, Royal Flush is running a rampage. He's putting uh, some person on the rope. Oh, nice teleslash getting out of there. Getting that pressure off of him. Yeah, getting that uh, field phase switch. Switch is what I meant to say. <laughs> Swisheroo. Nice leaf blade. See the traps. You just can't jump down. Oh yeah, once again, he jumped up pretending like he was going to bullet seed, but you can actually cancel the bullet seed. And so he canceled it and then unstaled it and then got a completely unscaled punish. Not sure why he goes for that. If he thinks his phone is going to left go shield, but this could be it. Yeah, one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Nice canceled grab. Boom. C-A-D-C grab for the game and the set. Some person. Wow. I didn't actually, I actually did not expect that. I'll be honest. Yeah. I knew some person's good, but everyone here is good. But I didn't expect he a convincing two. He hasn't been here for a while. Yeah, he's, he's been in my A.